three steps forward, two steps back. Who's that? Oh. Much, much later. Daddy, more candy! No, no, in my tum tum! Oh, there's candy. There's more candy. Yes, candy, candy, candy. <laughs> candy! See, you don't have to go door to door. People come to you and say, here's your candy. Yes. You don't have to go to the door and say, give me candy. They'll say, they'll come to your door and say, here, have candy. Thank you. Uh, uh, so this is the last game of the year. No, it's the last game that Rebecca will be in. Well, uh, this is the last game of the year. Yeah, so 2012, 2012. There'll be games. What? 2020? No. 2012 doesn't come after 2020. Well, no, 2021. 2021. 2021. There'll be some more games. But she won't be a senior. She'll be in college. Yeah. Yeah. She'll be in college. She'll be, in college. Hopefully she'll be cover music teacher. 2017. For the first time in Brooklyn Bearcat history. Brooklyn High School sponsored a competition level marching band. The people you see on the field now were freshmen that year. This is their final year. Many firsts, many sweepstakes awards, many first place trophies, many great things have been accomplished by the senior class through their four years. We're going to introduce them now in their final performance. Rebecca Jones. Rebecca Jones is being escorted and met by her mother, Kara Jones. She's been in band for seven years, a member of the Bearcat Band for six years. She moved here from Osceola in her seventh grade year. She's been in the Roar for four years. She's played trumpet and alto saxophone, making all region on both of those instruments in concert and jazz band. She's been in the Jazz Cat Band and concert band. Uh, she has so many awards that I had to convince them, and there's still so many. Many solo and ensemble awards. She's been brass captain for two years, brass major this year. She's been section leader in concert and jazz man, all region saxophone and jazz in concert, all region trumpet concert, outstanding sophomore marcher, awards for musicianship for four years, outstanding freshman, Esprit de Corps award for three years, and the director's award, one of the highest awards given in the nation in the ninth grade. Rebecca Jones. I'm sorry I left this out. Her, her advice to the freshmen, keep on keeping on. I know things are tough right now, but remember, the band is not just a group. It's your family, and they can help you get through the toughest of times. If you work hard and stick together, you will go far. And her favorite memory was going on the Disney trip and taking pictures with Goofy, who happened to also play trumpet. Running the ball for Brooklyn. The ball saved <laughs> making the... One week later. So we're on quarantine. <laughs> now let me explain. Let's back up a few days. So you may have noticed on this channel for the last week, 
I've been posting a lot of 30 second, 40 second videos. Now that's because YouTube has decided to compete with TikTok and start doing these vertical, shorter than a, a minute, 60 second videos. And I've got some already on TikTok. I've got some on Instagram as well as I went back and started taking old videos from this channel, even though the other channels and creating, maybe taking an eight minute video and creating two or three 50 second, 40 second videos from those. So I've got tons, like 400 videos to go through that I can create that. So you're gonna probably see things that are me without a beard, me with a beard, me maybe less weight, different, like higher weight. This is probably the heaviest that I normally am right here that I am right now. So I've been doing that, working on that task, trying to add some, getting more views, actually getting more subscribers because I've been doing these little short, uh, fun videos and we went on a college tour of a state right here in town So basically we get done with this A-State college tour and immediately we get a phone call and they want us to come pick up Nathan. They're quarantining Nathan and then we get word they're quarantining Rebecca. Now it's wearing me out because I'm having to work and then be with the kids that are quarantined, help them with school. And you're like, well that doesn't even make sense. My job will not take care of me or pay me or allow me to quarantine just because my kids are quarantined. Now that sounds bizarre, doesn't it? But literally, they're not paid under protocol for quarantine or for COVID unless I actually have symptoms, my kids who are quarantined have symptoms, or I was actually around someone who had symptoms or was positive. So either we have to test positive, start having symptoms or something. And since they don't have symptoms, they've not tested positive, I've not got symptoms, I've not tested positive, then it doesn't count. So I still have to go to work and then I have to watch them all day long. They're out playing right now and I'm trying to get some things done. But that's why you're seeing some short videos. I'm getting a lot of them and I'm actually getting more results for these short videos that I already filmed that footage. So you're gonna see a lot more of it. Don't be shocked if all of a sudden you see one video, I've got a beard, another video, I don't have a beard. Uh, all of a sudden you see uh, Lydia two years ago and all of a sudden you see Lydia just like a year ago or six months ago so it's gonna be a lot of that because I'm trying to get some of these old video footage clips made and it actually takes less work and right now I don't have as much time even though I'm quarantined it's actually 
more tiring, more frustrating because I just can't actually be in a routine. It's really interesting times. But it's all going to be good. God's good. His blessings are still upon us and good things are going to happen. So anyway, guys, until next time, God bless.